Hey, what is going on guys? And hopefully this is starting to make some sense to you. Uh, now that I've added my microphone as a hardware input, I can decide, you know, where I want my voice to go. So right now we have A1 output turned on just so you're able to, you know, hear me in the video. But if I were to disable A1 and then turn on output for B1, okay. it will it send will it send to it Steam. To Steam. Now, you're probably saying, okay, well, that's great, but it's echoing. Okay, we can fix that by making sure that our main audio, our desktop audio, isn't looping back into B1, okay? Any of these that are turned on are gonna be sent to Steam. So if we don't want it to loop, we need to turn it off. Okay, now we can test it again. Hello? Echo test. Okay, see? Now it's not echoing. Perfect. Okay, so now that we've accomplished that, uh, I'll show you how to separate your voice comms program. So here we have Discord open, and what I'm going to do is set the output to be voice meter auxiliary input. Okay, that means that any audio that comes from Discord is going to be sent to voice meter auxiliary input. Okay, if we just uh, back out here and I click this mute button, it's going to make a sound. See in there? And if I turn it on, see, now we know that the sound is going from Discord and into voice meter. Okay, so now that we know that all of our Discord sound is going to this column, we can name it. Now, we just need to make it so B2 is the default recording device for Discord. Any sound that is routed to B2 will be sent to Discord, okay? Okay, I hope some of this makes sense to you. Uh, I really wanted to make this video because there have been a lot of questions. So, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, I'm going to cover more features that Voice Meter has in another video. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, feel free to subscribe.